Maxwell. And their team captain, John Locke. And facing them tonight, dancing queen, it's Tess Daly. Get the beards in. It's Joe Wilkinson. And their team captain, John Richardson. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. Welcome to 8 out of 10 Cancer Show, all about opinion polls, surveys and statistics. Did you know, for example, 25% of children aren't allowed to play conkers at school? I wasn't allowed to touch my conkers at school. Apparently, it was putting off the netball team. 13% <laughs> of people have been visited by a dead person. Or, to put it another way, 13% of people have fallen asleep thinking about their nan. <laughs> A survey's revealed lap dancers pay four times as much for car insurance as nurses, presumably because lap dancers are more at risk of being rear-ended. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellists' job to guess the British public's top three most popular talking points. Sean Steen, what do you think the nation have been talking about over the last week? X Factor was quite controversial, was it? Yes, That's what like... happened on X Factor? I, I think someone went that was you quite, didn't watch quite it, good. Did you? No. <laughs> Have you ever been approached as a judge on one of those shows? I did one this summer called Superstar, but it was an Andrew Lloyd Webber thing for Jesus Christ Superstar. And I was in it, I was Mary Magdalene. Did Jimmy came to the show? I came to it, was it was pretty good, it was pretty fun. Jesus Christ Superstar, what's not to like? <laughs> I, I realise I couldn't look any gayer than with this waistcoat on, so now I'm going to fully come out and go, musicals, yeah, you look terrific. Like, you're like a sommelier who's had a sudden court appearance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the look what? I was going for. <laughs> Do you like uh, X Factor? Do you like... Because, I mean, it's, um, it's a bit manufactured pop music. Mm. It's not like the good old days with the Spice with Girls. Spice Girls, of course. <laughs> um, I think that now... I'm just a bit bored of the whole format, really. But, you know, maybe unfair I'm saying that, because I haven't seen any of this series, cos I've... Well, I think I've a lot of people watch Strictly's winning in the ratings, isn't it, this year? And I think it's cos it's a happier show. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, but it just shows you people admire people who can dance more than sing, you know? That's why Strictly is so much bigger than X Factor, right? Cos deep down, everybody thinks they can sing in the shower, but nobody thinks they can dance in the shower. <laughs> I think it's a better show, because on, on Strictly you get singing and dancing. Yeah. On X Factor you get neither. <laughs> and the, the band and the vocalists on Strictly are incredible, aren't they? They are amazing. Yeah. I mean, I think they've got the best live vocals on television. Yeah, they're incredible. But I don't watch the X Factor, because I've, I've, I'm busy. Mm. <laughs> you should get Sky Plus. I've got it. <laughs> I've got it. Take but it, we yeah. tape Strictly because my girls watch it and dance, you know, again and again. They love it. I mean, my favourite this year is Lisa Riley. Do you think she's going to win? She won I don't know if she'll win. She <laughs> might make it to the final because she's so popular. Yeah. Um, who's going to win it? I don't know who's going to win it. I mean, Denise, obviously, is brilliant, has been brilliant from the off. But is she too good that people will disengage and sort of think she doesn't need them to vote for her? You, you start it. I can go on all night. <laughs> I don't want to have to tell Vernon, but... What? Well, that was pretty sexy, that. <laughs> Uh, it's been quite a long time for John. If you could just not make any physical contact, that would be best for everyone. there was everyone. anything there. <laughs> <laughs> How high pitch was that? <laughs> Trying oh. to get up to the bicep, aren't you? But you can't get your hand around it, can you? <laughs> Melanie, would you go on Strictly? Um, I, I do love Strictly, actually, and I know people who've done it. Emma's done it, hasn't she? Emma Bunton's Emma done it. Emma did really she well. She was brilliant. I think yeah. she came second. Do you know Emma Bunton? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Wow. Go on. I would like to do it. If it's still on in ten years, I'd like to do it. Because I'd like to be a more mature lady. Because then I think... Because I can dance a bit. I think it'd be more impressive. If you could do it in ten years? Yeah, when, when I'm, like, older. Uh, Joe, now, uh, presumably they ask you to go on Strictly every year. No, we never have. <laughs> I, 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 I've been asked to do it as one of the pros. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, said, I said, I can't go as a contestant. I'm trained, you know... In uh, modern jazz, ballet, whatever. So it'd be an unfair advantage. I'll still do it. It's good cash. <laughs> 40 quid a night, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be amazing on that. Yeah, I know. Actually, Jimmy... <laughs> Jimmy, I've always thought that you'd be amazing on it. On, on, on Strictly? Yeah. Yeah, I worry that the, the clothes are a little bit camp. <laughs> Okay. Should we have a look and see whether uh, Strictly and X Factor are one of the most talked about things this week? Yeah. Let's have a look. <laughs> yes, Strictly come dancing. 
Strictly got its highest viewing figures when the dancers performed live at Wembley Arena. They had to temporarily move out of BBC Television Centre as it was being swept for paedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> John, Joe, Tess, um, what else did the nation be talking about over the last week? At least it could be called John Joe. When you said that then, it reminded me of my mum when I was about five. Oh. John, John Joe? Were you on Big Fat Gypsy Wedding? <laughs> <laughs> John Joe doesn't want to appear because <laughs> of fear of his scrap metal business being affected. <laughs> it's always John Joe. <laughs> well, the interesting news this week is Lord McAlpine, I guess, yeah. who's suing all of Twitter. He's suing 10,000 Twitter users who basically wrongly outed him as a paedophile. The fine should be, instead of financial, because most people on Twitter are just bored people who don't earn a lot of money, you should be, if you do a bad tweet, you, you lose characters. So, like, speeding, but you just... You can only do 135 now. <laughs> and then, if you're really bad, right, you can't use the letter E on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, Sally Burko tweeted, ''Why is Lord McAlpine trending? Innocent face.'' <laughs> The good news about it all is that Sally Burko has been forced to close her Twitter account, yeah. which is the only good thing. I would have had her close it ages ago for doing that stupid thing where you put an asterisk and then something you're doing, and then that really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely starting the diet today. Asterisk goes for some cake. Asterisk. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Hang on, Grandad looks upset. Sean, what? <laughs> well, I just don't know how you can be annoyed by her Twitter. What are you reading them for in the first place? Mm. <laughs> to get annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> what else am I going to do with my day? <laughs> so, Lord McAlpine, he's received £185,000 from the yeah. BBC and £125,000 from ITV. A lot of fuss, isn't it? He's made a lot of fuss. For £185,000, you can call me a paedophile for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Newsnight, treat yourselves. <laughs> I was over the moon when I found out I could sue people on Twitter. Things I get called. Yesterday, someone called me the most gormless man on the planet. What? That's got to be worth a tenner. He can't have mm. checked... <laughs> 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 checked with everyone. <laughs> I like Twitter, but it needs an extra app that you can put into your Twitter that between you pressing send, it takes 30 seconds where the screen goes to your face and you've got to stare at your face for 30 seconds. <laughs> and it's called, have a word with yourself. <laughs> you're on Twitter, Twitter, Melanie, aren't you? I was kind of forced into tweeting because when you're, you know, when you're promoting something, this social media, it's kind of, that's what it's there for, you know, let people know what you're doing. But then when you start doing that, people slag you off and it's like, well, isn't that what it's It's a weird called? thing, yeah, when you go, yeah, my new record's out tomorrow, and people yeah. go, oh, yeah, oh, you're just God, trying to sell God records. Sake, uh. Why do you think I'm doing yeah. this? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> What's the new album called? It's called Stages. Stages? Yeah. I hate it. Do you know, it's so funny, isn't it? You hate it? No, no, no. It's <laughs> 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 It's probably not that bad, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a go. No, it's weird, cos you, you do all this shit, don't you, to promote stuff. This is oh, not <laughs> shit! <laughs> You need to apologise for your comments. <laughs> you need to make a formal apology. I've only ever done one tweet. One tweet. And it, I've got 36,000 followers. <laughs> which, if you worked it out on a follower-per-tweet ratio, <laughs> I'm the most successful person ever on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what did tweet. you tweet? I tweeted, due to a series of imposters, I have been forced to set up a Twitter account. Now go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 I'd love it if you got into Twitter. Really, because there's times I think about you in the week and I just think... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what you do. I just... There's times what, I think... What do I do? I'd love to know what Sean's doing. <laughs> <laughs> sit in a tree and spit at pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think I do, John? I literally... That's one of the things. I just have no idea. I just... I can't imagine you eating food. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't like imagine Dracula. you going for a run or watching TV. I just imagine you in a dark room, sort of softly lit, just your face, staring at yourself in a mirror. <laughs> growling. I, I do stare at stuff, yeah. <laughs> I just go around... I'm just an ordinary sort of bloke, just does ordinary things. I'm usually... Uh, I've got an old spinning wheel yeah. and I spin my own wool. <laughs> so I'm there, spinning wool. Uh, I do that for the local community. Put, put I, take, the I do box. meals on wheels. But I only do five days a week. I think two days a week, the lazy old bastards can go out and get their own food. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, back to Lord McAlpine. For me, what he's done is he's gone from the premiership of hate. Being a paedophile, you'd be like the premiership, wouldn't yeah. you? If you had, like, a league <laughs> tables of hate... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paedophile would yeah, be yeah, up there near the top. He's just slipped down into the championship, really. Because <laughs> he's still a Tory non-dom. Nobody likes them, non-doms. They don't pay any tax. It's really? So he's still... He's only gone... <laughs> <laughs> He's only gone down a little bit. Yeah. Let's have a look and see if Lord McAlpine is up there. <laughs> yes, Lord McAlpine may sue 10,000 Twitter users for libel. What you can and can't say is a legal minefield, but what we definitely can say is that Jimmy Savile is a paedophile. Lord McAlpine isn't, and Gary Glitter is not getting as much babysitting work as he used to. <laughs> I watched the footage of Philip Schofield ambushing the Prime Minister on this morning and, like the rest of the nation, I thought, Holly Willoughby's bangers are massive. <laughs> Those pedos are really missing out. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. One thing still to get. Uh, David Beckham. He's, er... Uh... Leaving the galaxy. Uh, yes. Leaving the galaxy. <laughs> Waiting till after Christmas to make a decision as to where he's going. Yeah. Melanie, where do you reckon they want to live, Max? Cos Paris Saint-Germain has offered... Yeah. I don't New know. York. Grimsby. <laughs> Wherever he goes, experts say the club could afford to pay him £500,000 a week with the money he would bring in through increased sponsorship and TV deals. Why doesn't he just not join a club and just say people, whatever money they're going to give to the club, just give straight to him? <laughs> just have people collecting money around the country, just yeah. saying, this is for David Beckham, can you put it in here? <laughs> Do you like David Beckham? If you like David Beckham, can you put some money in there, please? <laughs> Hello, uh, we'd like to do a monthly transfer from your bank to David Beckham. <laughs> I was born on the same day as David Beckham. And you very uh, much had parallel lives. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes think we may have been separated at birth. <laughs> Too similar. <laughs> and we both like sitting about in our pants. Except he only wears them once and you've only yeah. got one pair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that annoys me about him the most is that everyone says, oh, he's got OCD because he doesn't wear his pants twice. That's not OCD, that's just being a wasteful prick. <laughs> Victoria said about him, didn't she? Oh, if there's three cans in the cupboard, he throws one away, so there's two. Well, what a dick! <laughs> well, just buy another one and then there's four. Do you know four. what? You really need to start believing what you read. <laughs> that was she said that and she does him. <laughs> she, she said that and she does him. <laughs> It's a magnificent turn of phrase. <laughs> if he was that obsessed with even numbers, he wouldn't have called his kids seven. That must annoy him. Every time he looks into the eyes of his own child, he must just think, I oh, should, should have said eight. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't talk like that anymore. He's got a deeper voice now, hasn't he? I should have said eight. <laughs> Shall we have a look at uh, David Beckham doing what he does best? Yeah. Have a little look. Hey. Do you know what's really weird? I can't even look at that because... You know, so many women around the world, like, like oh, looking yeah. at David Beckham. Of course. But he's my friend's husband and it's really weird. Yeah. What, so you I, can't... I actually can't look. Why, why can't you go and treat yourself? <laughs> I do <don't know. laughs> She won't mind. Have a little look. <laughs> it feels wrong. I finally understand why they called that film Bend It Like Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell you it's not in the top three, but David Beckham has announced he's leaving LA Galaxy. People idolise Beckham, but trust me, he's got skeletons in his closet, although she'll be out as soon as she finds something to wear. <laughs> People used to think David Beckham was thick, until Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Figures on buzzers, one more thing to get. Go on, John. There's the, uh, the, the geezer who done all the money problems, um... has been said. <laughs> Could you be any less specific? <laughs> <laughs> the guy, the guy who worked for UBS, who the rogue trader, the rogue trader, he he's gone to prison. We did steal a lot. He, he sort of, yeah, fraud. He, uh, he lost a lot. One point four billion. That's a hell of a meeting when he asked her when his bosses call him in. Do you reckon you try and bluff it out? Just go. We know what's happened. You go. Is this about the photocopier? <laughs> <laughs> Adaboli confessed his crime to his bosses in an email and he described the situation as a shitstorm. Yeah, I read that. <laughs> it's quite an understatement, really. It's, it's also quite... incredibly unprofessional to write that in a work email. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. That's an official warning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's why he lost his job. One more of those, money. mate, and you're out. <laughs> They not notice 1.4 billion. Yeah, how does it get happen to 1.4 billion? What job is he going to get now? There's no, you can't apply for any job with that on your CV, can you? Even like KFC, <laughs> they're going to fit through. So what do you think you're going? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're having a laugh. I won't let you clean the toilet, you dick. Leave, leave I reckon he'll just leave it off his CV. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you 
tell you what's not in the top three, but former UBS trader Kwaku Alaboli has been sentenced to seven years in prison after losing the bank £1.4 billion. Kwaku Alaboli is now banned from Britain's two leading financial institutions, Cash Converters and Wonga.com. <laughs> OK, one more thing to get fingers on, buzzers. Lady bishops. Oh, God, yeah, that's yeah. a biggie. Yeah. Yes. Lady, lady bishops. You can't have lady bishops. No lady bishops allowed. Sad. Yeah. It's the it's end a of a dream, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> A, a huge blow for equality for the sake of a paltry six votes. They lost by six votes. Yeah, they really. did. But now they've got to wait. Is it seven years they've got to wait? I think until it's they ten years until the next synod. I actually thought this synod, this would be a perfect opportunity for, for God to reveal himself, wouldn't it? You know, if there was a God, you'd think he'd come down to the synod and say, yes, it's fine, Lady Bishop. Fine. <laughs> well, maybe God is a woman, controversial, and she's just really pissed off. What, and she's like, she's not talking to us? <laughs> And we're saying, what's the problem? And she's going, well, if you don't know... Yeah. <laughs> she's got me on, but she's just like... Yeah. Right. <laughs> sure. Do you think there are any jobs that women shouldn't be allowed to do? A lady boy. <laughs> Is that a job? No, I mean it. A, a woman should not be allowed masquerade as a ladyboy. Can you imagine how disappointed well, it... you'd be in your hotel room in Bangkok? <laughs> 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 no cock! Yeah. <laughs> Female bishops, where do you stand on female bishops, Joe? Uh, well, the archbishop, he was keen, wasn't he? The, the new one was keen, yeah. Yeah, he was like, he, he was too keen. Because <laughs> he was quoted as saying, uh, it would be nice to have some sweet ass around the place. <laughs> I don't think those were his exact words. <laughs> uh, the new one, the new archbishop of Canterbury, uh, Justin Welby, called it a grim day. Yeah, that's what I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm a Miss Rowan Williams. I liked him. He had a cool voice. <laughs> it's the same voice as Saruman from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's really cool. There will be no women bishops. <laughs> That's the guy you liked. Yeah. I'm going to say those eyebrows are going to be a deal breaker. <laughs> this, this is the new guy. I think they just shaved the old guy, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's definitely new. Don't worry about that. <laughs> sure, sure. OK, do you think women should be allowed to be bishops? I, I'm surprised anyone cares, really. It's just one of those things that you think, well, if you want to be a bishop, that's fine. I mean, I'm voodoo. What voodoo? I'm voodoo. I've been very outspoken. We have a voodoo hoodoo every now and again. <laughs> yeah, was what a big do you do at the voodoo hoodoo? Well, it was a big hoo-ha at the voodoo hoodoo this week. <laughs> because someone did a doo-doo at the hoodoo. <laughs> you don't do a doo-doo at the hoodoo. <laughs> and we didn't know who do who do <laughs> 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 Let's have a look and see whether female bishops are one of the most talked about things mm. this week. Mm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, the Church of England have refused to allow female bishops, denying male bishops the thing they so desperately wanted. Poontang on tap. <laughs> <laughs> so those were the most talked about things over the last week. But in other news, Andy Coulson and Rebecca Brooks have been charged with bribing officials. Through these difficult times, Rebecca Brooks is being supported by her husband, Charlie Brooks, her friend, Rupert Murdoch, and her sister, the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> At the end of that round, Sean, Andrew and Melanie have two points. John, Tess and Joe have one point. <laughs> That's it for part one. See you after the break. Our next round is Pick of the Polls. John, Tess, Joe, your turn first. What do you like the look of? The this. alien. The alien. You want to go alien? OK, here's your related question. 28% of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. You shouldn't even be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> For Christ's sake, Jimmy, that stuff should be kept under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the truth that? is out there. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> Man, you can't put that shit out there and blow their fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're not no. ready for it, Jimmy. I can't believe you said it. <laughs> well, for now, OK, remember, if I, if I get assassinated... 28% <laughs> of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens, true or false. What do you think, John? I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it for ten damn years, ain't I been seeing it? <laughs> Finally, an accent that goes with that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think if anyone is throwing insults about clothes, it shouldn't be you tonight. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? Because I thought we weren't allowed to talk about it. Because, you know, sometimes when someone's a bit weird, you can talk about it. And then when something's so weird, everyone yeah. goes, is he all right? 
<laughs> Thought I'd wear a waistcoat. What's the matter with that? It's nice. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to aliens. Do you believe in aliens, Bunley? I don't. And anyone who does is a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know something I found out? That you know, when you buy ham in the supermarket, in a packet, there's cameras in there. <laughs> you, you, look in the, you look at the ham, you go, oh, what's the sell-by date on that? There's somebody watching you <laughs> in, like, a government office somewhere. <laughs> they're all just shocked. We're, we're, they're all going, going they're ones. all going, why isn't this on the news? Because <laughs> they won't let it out there. So <laughs> that's, what, that's the sign of games they're playing with us. <laughs> Once you know that, the aliens thing doesn't seem so weird, then. No. <laughs> We've got a, apparently we've got a sound problem. Hang on one sec. What's the sound problem? We got well, obviously, that's, they're trying to shut us down, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not fucking taking me! <laughs> <laughs> Whose mic is it? It's, it's, it's Sean's mic. You just saw it, it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 if this isn't proof of what I've been saying... <laughs> Yeah, let's shut Shauna. <laughs> 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 All right, so 28% of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. True or false? I've been to Area 51. Sorry, what do you mean you've been to Area 51? I was arrested by the American Air Force at Area 51 a couple of months back. What were you, what were you doing at Area 51? I was making a programme about aliens for BBC Three. What happened was we went there and I was with uh, a busload of people who are ufologists, people who believe in aliens. I personally don't. I believe in UFOs, but that's, that's not hard to do. That's an unidentified flying object. Mm. This is all it takes to believe in one of them. There's something in the sky. I don't know what that is. <laughs> No yeah. need to start a website. If I take, if I take my, <laughs> if I take my glasses off, a magpie is an unidentified flying object. <laughs> <laughs> I've had aliens in my in my house, in my bedroom. <laughs> they were coming. They were visiting our, our, our so regularly. I had to get a restraining order. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Had real problems with this. Oh, Just... terrible. It's been a nightmare, Jimmy. But they won't let this won't go out. No, this will go out. <laughs> you guys are all in league with them. <laughs> well, fuck you! <laughs> I'm speaking the truth! <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so what, what are you gonna say? 28% of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. True or false? True? Oh. What do you think? I'm well out my dick. I think it's likely to be true. We think it's true. Okay, you think true? What are you going to go for, Sean? It doesn't matter what we say, it'll all be covered up. <laughs> <laughs> They'll change my words to say what they want me to say. <laughs> Melanie, you're the only person that seems to be yeah, sane on your team. Put what you want in there. Put what you want in there. I'll say that. <laughs> sure. Put your lies in there. <laughs> <laughs> True, Jimmy. Of course it's true. <laughs> All right, I can tell you the answer is true. Amazingly, 28% of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. <laughs> a lot of people report being abducted by aliens and anally probed, but that has to be a downside. <laughs> <laughs> the big question is, if alien invaders do come down to Earth and take over, would you recognise us? Sorry, them. <laughs> OK. Uh, Sean Steen, what do you fancy uh, answering on? Uh, That's me. I think we should have Mel. OK, this is, this is your related question. Most people think their life would make a good musical. True or false? Oh, I think most people's lives probably would make a good musical. No, they wouldn't. Most people's lives, most yeah. people's lives are boring as shit, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> they're not, though. They're not. Maybe. Maybe the individual, but families are always really interesting. There's always skeletons and scandals, and every know. family's got that, right? Yeah, true. Uh, fake favourite musical? Sean? I don't really like musicals, to be honest. Do you like anything? I do, I like loads of things. <laughs> Love rice. <laughs> 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 I like books, I like music. What music do you like? Well, all the good stuff. <laughs> what genre? All the good genres. <laughs> Do you like rock music? I like rock music, yes. OK, well, I would like to invite you to come and see Jesus Christ Superstar next year. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sadly, I do like musicals. I bet you do, don't you? I do, yeah. You said that really angry. I bet you do. You? So repressed. Hey, I love a musical I love too. A musical. We're all repressed as well. <laughs> I'm not repressed. Look at this place go. I'm out there. <laughs> I am what I am. I am my own. I love a musical. I go to all of them. Shrek, Grease, all of them. Shrek is a musical. It was an amazing musical. Kimberly Walsh was in it when I went, and it, she was fantastic. Not a Shrek. <laughs> Not a Shrek. She was the Shrek princess. I think my life would make a good musical. Like, this week alone, I've um, roasted a chicken. <laughs> been cycling pretty much every day. <laughs> what more ingredients you need for a good, you know, musical? So, uh, Viva Forever, the Spice Girls musical, opens this week. What, is that the story of you, or is that, the, is that another story? But no, not... it's not. It's a, it's a story that's been inspired by the songs of the Spice Girls, and it's written by Jennifer Saunders, and it is brilliant. What's the story? The story is about a girl band. OK. Mm. Hang on, the Spice Girls were going. <laughs> Hang on a second, what happened? <laughs> Come on, tell us a bit of the story. It's very much... A... About modern <laughs> culture, it, there's a little piss take of the X Factor in there, and there's, mm. yeah, <laughs> it's really good. There's great characters, good relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! I'm on your team. Sit over there. <laughs> but, uh, so it's a good musical, then. I'm looking for it. So it's great. You'll enjoy it. Right. No, you won't be cynical, old bastard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you where I am on his side. I like a musical, but I don't like those people in the background that start dancing. What are you doing? You're, you're, you're a selection of chimney sweeps. This is none of your business. <laughs> what are you doing? This has got nothing to back to work, chimney sweeps. <laughs> no, he's the main character. She's the main one. He's right. Really, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I really, beep, beep. Fair enough. Are well, those guys selling fruit? Yeah. Walking around going, oh, I'm just walking through selling fruit. Throw an apple up, someone catching goes, <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> OK, let's get some answers. So most people think their life would make a good musical, true or false. What are you going to say, John? I don't think anyone would say that. My cat... <laughs> sadly, my cat said to me, I think my life would make a good musical, and I had to say, it's been done, mate. Sorry. <laughs> he was. We think it's false. False. OK, you're saying false. What are you going to go for? Melanie, what do you think? Oh, God. Um... Got pressure, isn't it? <laughs> 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 You think false? Yeah, right. Yeah, we think false. You think false. I can tell you the answer is false. Only 32% yeah. of people think their life would make a good musical. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera is about a hideously ugly monster that hides backstage, playing the piano and staring at a woman he could never possibly have. I wonder how Andrew Lloyd Webber came up with that idea. <laughs> So at the end of that round, it's four points for Sean's team and three points for John's team. <laughs> That's it for part two. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to AI Out Ten Packs, and the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here is your first one. Worst subject to talk about on a date. Is it why I sleep in bunk beds still? <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> Top or bottom? You choose. Why would you go in the bottom on your own? I keep the crayons under the bottom bunk, so it's better to be in the bottom. <laughs> if I was at the top, I'd have to climb down, get me crayons, then climb right back up again. I'm not doing it. No, it's, it's definitely top bunk, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't sneak off, whereas if you're on the bottom bunk, you can sneak off and the person on the top doesn't know. So you've got uh, power in the bottom bunk. But why do you need to sneak off? <laughs> Because sometimes you do need to sneak off. As you've seen, there are situations where people need to take actions into their own hands, Melanie. <laughs> this world is not as safe a place as you thought it was. <laughs> What's your go-to subject on a date? What's your...? Uh, macroeconomics. <laughs> Every time. Quantitative easing, those sort of things. The Federal Reserve <laughs> is privately owned. Mmm, <laughs> bet you didn't know that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> is Sub-Saharan Africa's uh, recent uh, commodities gold rush going to carry on into sustained development? Melanie? <laughs> <laughs> Got me. OK. Apparently, men decide within 15 minutes of a date whether a second date is on the cards. Mm. 
women know in 15 seconds. Well, you know straight away whether it's yeah, going to be. Yeah, you do. You know. Right. And, and I think so, yeah. Straight that away. Initial thing, yeah. If women know in 15 seconds, I'd rather they just said. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, just say, just before we order wine. <laughs> I already don't like you. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the wedding on the first date, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's weird. We've got to plan it now, haven't we? What else are we going to talk about? What are you going to do on your 18th? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so it's to do with past relationships. That's the clue. Number of shags. That is the correct answer. Oh. Yes, the worst subject to talk about on a first day is how many people you've slept with. You might not think it to look at me, but I've slept with literally hundreds of women. <laughs> of course, if a man sleeps with lots of women, he's called a stud, whereas if a woman sleeps with lots of men, she's called your mum. <laughs> and I am specifically talking about your mum. <laughs> OK, worst thing about doing DIY. The only tool I've got is a hammer. I do all the jobs with it. All the jobs. Yeah, if I'm sanding a window, do the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, painting the skirting board, hammer. <laughs> Changing a fuse yeah. in the plug. Hammer, yeah. My house is in ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> Power tools really mean you can screw up big fast. Like, with a little <laughs> screwdriver, you're not really going to do much damage. You go, oh, but with, like, a power drill, you go... <laughs> <laughs> wow! 30 seconds and I have ruined that whole wall. <laughs> Nail guns are fun. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> you, have you done any DIY? Would you ever do any? Uh, no, get a man in. That's my answer to that. <laughs> See, I find a bit of DIY quite therapeutic. I enjoy it. What I mean, was the last bit of DIY? Home you did? improvement. I enjoy the aesthetics, you know, but I enjoy... Do you I, mean I buying enjoy... cushions? Yeah. <laughs> That's not DIY. That is buying cushions. <laughs> it's improving yeah. the home. Yeah, I bought some cushions. <laughs> oh, exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, personally. I don't see the problem. What was the last thing you built? What was the last thing you... Uh, it was a, a white unit from Ikea. And... Uh, That's not uh, do it yourself. Yeah, but you drink your way drink through it. That's the thing that I don't understand. Why, do, why isn't everybody drunk making things? <laughs> the worst thing about IKEA is you're not allowed to punch people in the back of the head. <laughs> why do they walk so slow? Get through! <laughs> I don't. I don't call it IKEA. I call it IKEA. <laughs> And they say, can you keep it down? I say, look how big you've written it. <laughs> <laughs> you write it that big. <laughs> that big I say. <laughs> IKEA! <laughs> OK, so, um, a bad workman would blame this. Tools. What about them? Lack of the right tools. There you go, that's the right answer. What? <laughs> He's getting the point. <laughs> Yes, the worst thing about doing DIY is not having the right tools. If you're doing DIY, there's one tool you definitely don't need. Nick Knowles. <laughs> I remember as a young lad my dad showing me how to use a hammer, but even then it seemed like a messy way to kill a guinea pig. <laughs> well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean, Andrew and Melanie have four points, John, Tess and Joe are tonight's winners with five points. <laughs> Our wonderful studio audience and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night.